Keeping people financially healthy amid this pandemic is another concern. Hundreds of San Antonians who lost their jobs during the pandemic are trying to get back to work. The COVID-19 Workforce Recovery Program, also known as Train for Jobs SA, is helping in the effort with the use of Federal CARES Act funding and the city's general fund. The night team's Patty Santos tells us how your tax dollars are changing lives. I struggled with and during the beginning of the pandemic and I felt like I needed a change in the careers. When health issues forced Lori Luna out of her job, the Train for Jobs SA program was a godsend. People can get paid to learn, to improve their lives. Like, why not do it? She just finished her GED and will start the administrative assistant three-month training program soon. Now's the time to do anything, right? Because if you're just sitting at home, why not take some virtual classes and just, just do it? Luna says this program has been life-changing. She's already thinking beyond this classroom and considering college. Not just about, you know, putting as many people through this pipeline per se. It's about really truly understanding what is the best opportunity for that individual to um, take advantage of the program. Alex Lopez with the city of San Antonio says 4,000 people called about the job training program that started in the fall. About 3,000 signed up. All of our partners are being very intentional about making sure that we ultimately connect them with um, not just training, but that opportunity to a career. So far, the interest has been in long-term training certificates. Because the recovery program was a pilot plan, there were some hurdles and adjustments made along the way. But so far, about 100 people have completed the program. It's your tax dollars in service to your you and your neighbors. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The program is set to undergo another name change along with a new way of funding. To keep the program funded, an existing one one eighth cent sales tax will be reallocated this fall to keep the job training alive for the next four years. The program will be called SA Ready to Work and it'll start this fall.